In this training video, we're going over the most common run capacitors that a HVAC service technician would stock in their service truck. You see these black small cube capacitors. These are typically found on inducer motors on gas furnaces. And you see this one's two MFD, that means microfarads. And this one's three, and that one says micro F. So that's the symbol for micro. And once again, the symbol for micro right there. So two, three, and four, these are very common, uh, small capacitor sizes and also a five microfarad as well. And they're located right here on the inducer motor. And here's the other thing, if you needed to replace one of these small black capacitors, you could replace it with a larger one as long as it's the same microfarad rating. So this is a five microfarad and this one's a five. It's just a different style and it has a larger insulation value. And likewise, this one right here, this three uh, UF, or it's actually microfarad, it's not a U, uh, can replace this one. Now this has a 250 volt as its max for the insulation value and this one is 370. That's why this one is a lot bigger and there's a different style. Uh, this is a different style but as long as you could fit this in place you could use one of these large capacitors to replace these. Now it's very important to replace a uh, say a two microfarad capacitor with a two microfarad capacitor, not a three, not a four, not a five. Uh, because the motor is rated for that size of a capacitor. The voltage rating has to be the same or higher. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt to have a 440 volt capacitor that's two microfarads to replace this one right here. And that just is an increase in the insulation value. So now we're going to go through each of these. These would be used for small, very small blower motors uh, or, once again, inducer motors for gas furnaces. So you have a two microfarad, a three microfarad, a four microfarad, and five microfarad. These are typically all 370 volt capacitors. And right here you see you have a, a 7.5. And so the five and the 7.5 microfarad capacitors are the most common capacitor out there. And by the way, you see I'm just kind of going along and touching. These are all discharged. They're, they're just straight out of the box and discharged. Uh, so these are also used on indoor blower motors as well. And so you really want to stock a lot of these in your service truck. These other ones that I mentioned previously, you can have a handful of them, but these are the most common. And this one's just a single run capacitor, but we're going to be getting into the dual run capacitors soon. Uh, but these are all just run capacitors. And so this is a 370V, this is a 370V. And then we get over to this one right here, and that's a 10 microfarad and this one's taller it's it's much bigger and you see it's a 440 volt and that means it's going to be larger it's going to have more insulation inside compared to something like this which is a smaller voltage rating so this is 370 volt and the one behind it is a 440 which is a lot bigger so there's a higher insulation value on this one and so it's going to be larger the next size is a 12.5. This is not as common of a capacitor. And then you have a 15 microfarad, and then you have a 20 microfarad. So this range right here from the five over here all the way over to the 20 is the common indoor fan motor sizes for the capacitors that you're gonna to wanna to stock in the service truck. And the most common right here are going to be the 5 and the 7.5, that's for sure. And also the 10, that's, that's pretty common as well for the fan motors. But you're also going to want to stock the 12.5, the 15, and the 20 just to be safe. So this one right here, you can see it's a 20 microfarad and it's 440 slash 370. And what that really means is that, that it is rated as a 440 volt capacitor. And so it's going to work with a uh, higher voltage that's going to be coming back out of the fan motor. So when you power a fan motor, you're going to have what's called back EMF on the capacitor. And so you're going to have a higher voltage than what you are supplying to a fan motor. And so, so anyway, these larger capacitors, you, you cannot replace a 440 with a 370, but you can replace a 370 with a 440. You have to have the correct microfarad reading. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, you can look at the blower motor and on the rating plate, it's going to tell you what size capacitor is needed for that fan motor. And that's regardless of whether it's an indoor fan motor, like on an air handler or a gas furnace, 
or a outdoor fan motor on an outdoor heat pump or air conditioning unit. Another thing I want to point out is since this is 440 volt, you see it's much taller than this size right here. And so a lot of these uh, single run capacitors are oval and they all match the same size because these may need to slip down inside of a hole, say in a package unit. An outdoor package unit uh, may have just a, a oval hole that you have to slip this down into that'll hold it in place. Uh, so they're all generally the same oval size. Just some are a little bit longer based on their voltage rating. And if you don't have a 20 microfarad capacitor, you could take two of these 10 microfarad capacitors and connect them together in parallel to have 20 microfarads. And if you don't have a 7.5 microfarad capacitor, you could use a trick like this by taking two 15 microfarad capacitors and wiring them in series. And with that, your result is gonna be 7.5 microfarads. And so once again, you can get the customer up and running. And instead of using two different capacitors, you could use this little Turbo 200 and it has a 2.5 and a 5. So these jump together is going to give you a 7.5 for the, for the capacitor. And so this one has a bunch of different measurements. So it has a 7.5 on the back and then it has a 2.5 and a 5 in the front. And you can just jump them together to get anything from 2.5 all the way up to 15 microfarads. Now we're gonna get into the dual run capacitors such as this one right here, it's a 25 plus five. And so this is for a outdoor, say condensing unit and the 25 microfarad is for the compressor and the five is for the outdoor fan. And so this very small capacitor size would be used for maybe like a 18,000 BTU single speed unit or maybe even a two ton. But typically anywhere from this size to this right here, a 30 plus five, or 30 plus 7.5, these are typically gonna be used on ton and a half, which is 18,000 BTUs, up to say two tons, 24,000 BTU units. That's the most common ones. Now five microfarad, you see it's plus five, so 30 plus five, and you see this one's 30 plus 7.5. The 7.5 is gonna be more of a rarer uh, fan motor size at this outdoor unit capacity, where it's only like a ton and a half to two ton systems. So these are gonna be your more common ones for that size. Now, as we step up from here, say at the 35 uh, microfarad, all the way up to say the 45 plus 7.5, these right here are gonna be the most common capacitors that you're gonna stock in the truck if you're working on air conditioning systems. And that's because the 35 is gonna take care of say like a two ton all the way up to a 45 over here, which is gonna be uh, closer to say a, a three ton unit. And so uh, you notice that we're gonna stock both sizes, a 45 plus 7.5 and a 45 plus five. And then when you come over here, it's a 40 plus 7.5 and a 40 plus five, because you don't know what size fan motor you're gonna end up with. And so a 35 plus 7.5, a 35 plus five. And, and so you're just stocking these just to be safe and to have a quick service call in reference to the replacement of the capacitor. And all these nowadays, you're just gonna be buying these dual run capacitors at 440 volts. And so it's gonna say 440 slash 370 just for a technician that doesn't know that a 440 is capable of replacing a 370 or a 440 volt capacitor. Now, if you're wondering what the effects are of installing a wrong size capacitor uh, for a system, make sure to check out our video link down in the description section below. We took current readings on the fan motor in order to show you the difference. Now a less common capacitor size is this right here. It's a 35 plus three. And so some fan motors are a little smaller and in the outdoor units. And so you may be required to put in a three microfarad capacitor there, but you could also do this with just the uh, 35 plus five. And you could then use a, a single run capacitor like this. And you could just connect the commons. So you can connect the common from here which is actually right here, which is the four tabs, over to this. And so this is a dual run capacitor. And something that's important to share with you is that the four tabs is typically the common. The three tabs is the Herm, that goes to the compressor. And the one tab is typically to the fan motor. Sometimes the, the fan will have two tabs. Now, in some cases, like this one right here, you have a 45 plus 10 microfarad. So sometimes you have a fan motor like this, but it's really not that common. And so really 
the fan motors are typically the 5 or the 7.5, unless you have like a, a unit that you're continually working on and preventative maintenance and you're going to know what capacitors to stock in that place. Now say you don't have the, the right size capacitor for the dual runs, you could utilize a capacitor like this right here, it's a Turbo 200, and you can just jump these together, the 20 and the 25, and then you'd have 45. So you'd have a capac uh, capacitor size of 45 microfarads, and say you needed something even higher, you could jump from here to here, and then you have 10 plus 20 plus 25, and so you'd have a 55 microfarad capacitor on one side, and then you could utilize this rating over here, the 5 microfarad, or actually this one right here, the 5 microfarad for the fan motor. And so these come in real handy, just in case you're, you're running a lot of service calls and you can't get these uh, other common capacitor sizes. Now, these are a lot more expensive, but they really do come in in a pinch for you in order to get that system running. Now, these dual run capacitors that are round are the most common, and so you do have these oval ones. These are typically like the older style, and so you can replace an oval one with a round one, and so it's not that big of a deal. You can just have these extra clamps. I would suggest that you save any clamps from any of your other jobs and just throw them right in your service truck or maybe uh, old units that you replace. And the other thing is it's not a big deal. You can just use this roll of strapping in order to then mount your capacitor in the outdoor unit with your two screws. You just got to make sure to not screw into any of the coils so you can just look down from the fan motor in order to, to verify that. And in this case you see this is a 440 so you can't replace this with a 370 but you can replace it with a 440 volt capacitor that's round or a capacitor that says 440 slash 370. As we know, that is actually a 440 volt capacitor. These capacitors right here, the 50 plus 5 and the 50 plus 7.5 are for sizes maybe around like say three and a half tons. Of course, these are all just, you know, say guesses. It could be anywhere from say three ton to, to four ton, but I would suggest that this would probably be about three and a half to four ton. So a 50 plus 5 and a 50 plus 7.5. So we're getting into the larger sizes now. And so we're getting to the less common capacitors that you're going to need to stock in your service truck because most systems in, in homes are two tons or three tons or two and a half tons. And so then you get up to these larger sizes, the three and a half ton, which is uh, 42,000 BTUs of cooling capacity. And then you get over to these ones right here, the 55 plus 5, the 55 plus 7.5, the 60 uh, plus 5, 60 plus 7.5. And so now you're getting into the four tons and maybe even into the five ton systems. A five ton system will be say 60,000 BTUs. And you can see that on the outdoor unit rating plate as far as the uh, BTU capacity, typically it's in the model number. But what you don't find in the outdoor uh, condensing units rating plate is the capacitor size. So you have to look if like say the capacitor is completely rusted and you're replacing it, you're gonna have to look on the side of the compressor and also on the side of the fan motor for the, the lesser number in order to know what size capacitor you're going to install. And the other thing is, a uh, prior technician could have installed the wrong size. So you really want to verify that. And for whatever reason, if you, you don't see it on the side of the compressor, you can look up the model online. And, and when you do that, you can typically find the capacitor there. All right, so now we're over here. We're at 65 uh, plus 5. You have 70 plus 5. And these capacitors are getting more expensive as they're getting larger. So your price is going to be higher. And these ones are not going to be used that often. So then you have over here, so 70 plus 5. And then you have here, it's 70 plus 7.5. And then we're going to keep going, 75 plus 5, 75 plus 7.5. Then we have over here, we have 80 plus 5 and 80 plus 7.5. Now, when we come back over this way, you're going to notice that some capacitors, such as like right here, 65 plus 7.5 might be, might be hard to get your hands on. And likewise, maybe a 70 plus 7.5 might be hard to get your hands on. And so you never know. And then once you get up to these sizes, you might want a, a 10 microfarad for the, the outdoor fan motor. And so you can stock something like this. This is where it really comes in handy on these larger sizes is a like a universal motor run capacitor. So this is the AMRAD uh, Turbo 200X. And I don't know if you've noticed in this video, but I've stayed away from going one 
uh, brain specific. I've kind of have a mix of all kinds of different capacitors here, but these are really good. These Turbo 200X as far as, uh, you know, basically getting you out of trouble if you don't have the right capacitor stocked. So you can see a 5, a 5, a 50, a 20, a 10. So you can jump these together in order to get a, a large capacitor size all the way up to like over here, all the way up to say like an 80 plus 7.5 or an 80 plus 5. And so that's important just to be able to get the customer running on say a 5 ton system in the middle of summer. And so remember that these capacitors right here are for outdoor condensing units or heat pumps. And like I said, if you have a 80 and you need a 80 plus 10, you could also use something small like this. And so you could just jump from this terminal to the common and then you have your, your fan motor uh, microfarad reading and then you also have your Herm. You just won't use your fan on the top here. If you're looking for how to wire a uh, four wire outdoor fan motor or versus a three wire, I have a video linked down in the description section below on that. And I have other capacitor videos like why these fail, so why do capacitors fail. Uh, so we have a whole video on that as well. And if you're servicing a lot of single speed air conditioning systems, make sure to check out our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book. And also we have our new inverter mini split operation and service procedures book. So make sure to check these out over at our website at acservicetech.com and also on Amazon. And if you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure to check out our website where we have a bunch of free resources there, such as articles. We've got our podcasts, quick tips, calculators, quizzes, and teacher classroom projects. So hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.